<laughs> that brings us to the end of, of the only lonely solo. But since we touched on bad medicine in the middle of that, can you demonstrate and teach me how you play that really blistering fast lick at the end of the bad medicine solo? It's like a really, I don't know exactly what it is, but something like... But like a hundred times faster. Is that am, am I in the am I in the ballpark with that? I don't know. I think it's more like. I don't remember okay. it. <laughs> Start, it starts. Uh, let's see. Right. Something like that, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's a long time ago. And then, you know, I play it, you know, I'm going to get close to it playing. And then when you do it like uh, 3,000 times, you know, sure. you're going to be like, you know, you're going to play it a little differently and, you know, give it a little bit of a bend. And hopefully, you know, the band would give me uh, two times around that sucker so I could like make some uh, some new shit up. Yeah, during it, you know. Of course, yeah. I mean that that was long ago, and you've played it many many times since then. I'm sure, and I'm sure it's gone down all kinds of different roads. But that was fantastic. You're fantastic. All right, all right so wait, you know what? The rhythm part of Bad Medicine was the interesting part, right? <laughs> I try to make all, you know, around the songs, I try to make the guitar parts like, so it's like. Now, right? so you're, you're kind of toggling on, on the power chord and then moving up. Yeah. That's pretty damn cool. Yeah. It's like swingy. Yeah, it all it almost went, when when you just hear it with just you, it's 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 Billy Gibbons esque. It's it's a, a little bit of Gibbons. Little Gibbons in there. You know? Yeah, yeah. and uh, you know, shit. It's easy top. Oh yeah. But, you know, it's 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 all about the groove, you know. What what yeah. at least if you get your fingers and your body to do what your mind hears then you know you're starting to get around the instrument where what you think and what you feel in your art comes out you know and then you know it's it's obviously an amalgamation of all all your heroes you know i mean it just comes through naturally you know it's not like you're you know stealing anything it's like a, you know you just put all those great guitar players together and and all those amazing songs and somehow you know the parts I, I was a big huge Beatles fan and huge Stones fan and their arrangement on their records was so amazing when you really listen I mean the parts were very orchestral no matter what oh yeah 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 you know, and, 